There are a number of different brush sets you can get to use with Painter Essentials. This short uh, video, Wayne's going to show you Pet Essentials. I'm going to go through and show you each stroke. You can see the category up here, Perfect Pen Essentials. And this, we're going to start with the top brush here, which is Animal Skin. And just quickly work our way through these so you can see what each of the brushes do. Animal Skin is really a texturing brush. And it can be used lightly, as you can see I'm pressing lightly here, and it can bring up or paint this uh, rather leathery texture that you can see. A great brush for doing some of the underlying textures you may want. It's very useful if you press hard, of course, it goes darker. You can resize the brush and change the opacity, those kind of things, but that is the animal skin brush. and Really, it's a, quite a nice brush to use. The next brush is Blended Fur. And this brush puts out some fur kind of patterns. Uh, it's kind of wild and crazy. In fact, it's kind of funny that this should be called Perfect Pet when so many of the brushes actually paint kind of wild and crazy fur. Nevertheless, this brush is set so that it blends with the underlying colors, and you can build up these very nice, subtle patterns as you want. And it is uh, it's a good brush to experiment with. The next brush is Calic. And so, you know, if you've had hair that's hard to control, a lot of times it's a Calic. And here you can see this brush is set so that the hair paints in these kind of crazy random directions doesn't align. I would possibly see, and I can almost see it starting here, painting some sort of over-the-top uh, guinea pig. So this is the Calic brush. It paints this wild and crazy non-directional hair. Fun brush to use. The next brush is Crinkle Fur. This brush paints kind of just upright, standout fur, and it varies in width and the number of bristles that are being painted. It really is kind of a fun brush to use. This is probably my favorite of the group, and it's so versatile. Change the size, change the opacity, and you can build up really interesting furry textures. You know, as I sit here and play with these, I see different things already coming up that I could use them for. The next brush is Dirty Fur, and it does just kind of the same thing as Blended Fur, except there's a little more bend. Fur strokes, the individual furry pieces, than there is in the Blended Fur. Also, this was not set to blend nearly as much as blended fur would be. So it's a very useful brush when you don't want a lot of extraneous blending going on, but you just want to lay down some thick patch of fur. Or I guess you could use it to paint some grass if you wanted. So grab this brush, give it a try. I think you'll like it. It's a fun brush. The next brush is Fine Fur. It really does just what it says. It paints really nice little fine bits of fur. This would be great as the finishing touches on any kind of animal you paint. Close-up fur. Somebody that needs to go to the barber. I mean, the uses of these brushes are just unlimited. Only your imagination will keep you from using them in ways that nobody else has thought of before. So this is the fine fur brush. And here's Hedgehog. This is somewhat like the Crinkle Fur Brush, except these kind of spiny hair bits stand up on the top and bottom straight, and then on the sides they smooth out. Well, it's not really smooth. They're just not as long, and they're a little more random in pattern. So you could paint very easily the back of a hedgehog or a porcupine. Uh, with this brush. You could paint all sorts of things with this brush. 
and it will follow the direction of the stylus as you move it around. So that is Hedgehog, a great brush. Try it out, you'll like it. Poodle, kind of what it sounds like. Paint some poodle-like fur. And this brush does blend with the underlying color some. So as you can see, I'm using pure black and it does blend underneath. So if you need little puffy things of fur, this is a good brush to go to. The next brush is Sheepdog. And this is somewhat similar to the Calic brush, except when the hair goes kind of off in a different direction, it really goes off in a different direction. It's really even more out of control than Calic is. And the inspiration, of course, is a sheepdog. You talk about an animal with out-of-control hair, and the sheepdog would be the one. So you can see crazy hairbrush. Once you've painted uh, the things you want in, then use this brush to add some craziness to it. And, of course, you can use, you can layer colors, you can use different colors, whatever you want to do with it. So that is the sheepdog brush. And the last one is trimmed fur. And this brush is meant to be kind of like you've taken your dog to the groomer and now they've got all this mangy fur and these calyx and all the crinkle fur and all these kind of things trimmed down into nice, even fur. So this would be kind of a finishing brush if you wanted. If you paint fast, you get a little more gap between the stroke. If you paint slow, get a nice, even, very well-spaced, very similar-sized fur brush. So those are the 10 brushes in the new Perfect Pet Essentials Pack. Give them a try. You, you will be pleased with the looks and the effects and all the creative things you can do with them. And have some fun with them. Mm -hmm.